The assassination of President John F. Kennedy is the greatest murder mystery in American history. I was 16 years old when it happened and it has never left me. That's Rob Reiner, creative powerhouse behind the films When Harry Met Sally, The Princess Bride, to name a few. Recently, Rob called me, Soledad O'Brien, and asked me what I knew about this crime, which happened 60 years ago. I know the government's first investigation concluded that a lone gunman named Lee Harvey Oswald killed the president. I also know that 15 years later, the government backtracked on that story and said the assassination was a result of a conspiracy. 60 years later, new leads are still emerging. To me, an award-winning journalist, that's the making of an incredible story. And on this podcast, you're going to hear it told by one of America's greatest storytellers. So, Rob, you're the one who's done the reporting on this story, so I'm going to let you lead me on this journey. Okay. Well, to solve any murder, you start at the scene of the crime. Kennedy apparently shot him head. He fell face down in back seat of his car. The single bullet theory holds that one bullet entered the president's back, moved upward. Then, when the bullet comes out, it's moving again, downward, leftward, and forward, turns in midair, how in the hell is that possible? And we'll answer decades-long questions by talking directly to people who were there. Mrs. Kennedy stood up and right behind where she had been sitting, there was a pristine bullet. Then we'll ask, who had the motive to assassinate a sitting president? My dad thought JFK screwed us at the Bay of Pigs, and then he screwed us after the Cuban Missile Crisis. Then we'll pull the curtain back on the cover-up. I've said that the agency cooperated with us. I misspoke. Were you mad? Furious. We'll reveal why Lee Harvey Oswald isn't who they said he was. Well, I was under the impression that Lee was being trained for a specific operation. We'll introduce you to people who attempted to reveal the truth, only to pay the ultimate price. He was chopped up and stuffed in a, in a oil drum and, and thrown into the Biscayne Bay. Until eventually, we make our way back to Dallas on November 22nd, 1963. I asked my mom, well, where's Papa? And she said, he's in Dallas on business. I glanced over my shoulder and I saw a package on the back seat. And so I said, what's in the package, Lee? Why does it matter? For those of us who were born after it happened, I think we miss that sense of like what America lost. President Kennedy's death was a profound national trauma, the effects of which are still felt today. The American people need to know the truth. Listen to Who Killed JFK on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. 